So I keep getting asked what my protocol is when it comes to doing a cleanse. So this is the most important one. You can find this in the bio in the herbs section. Just take a screenshot of these. So basically the main ones you want is papaya leaf, you want worm, wormwood, mugwort, and the colon cleanse. And then I just kind of make a whole concoction with the alkaline tea and alfalfa leaf because I'm gonna be drinking this almost every day unsweetened. And on days that I eat, I will be taking black seed oil and ormus because you don't wanna break the fast. So alfalfa leaf is because I go to the gym every day. And if you know with horses, they give the alfalfa leaf to horses to make them uh, super strong. And the alkaline tea is just, you need all the minerals. And that's why I keep telling people is that, um, actually, you know, it's, it's crazy how Facebook published a story on me for spreading misinformation that not all diseases come from mineral deficiencies. But you can look up uh, Linus Pauling, I believe, and essentially he won the Nobel Peace Prize for proving that all diseases come from mineral deficiencies. And it's because your organs function based upon the minerals in your body. And most people are living in a deficient state because all the vitamins on the shelves that are itemized are synthetic. And the main synthetic vitamin, you've heard me say this a million times, is hydrogen cyanide cobalamin. And the cobalamin molecule does not know how to leave the body. And it will bind to light metals, minerals, and oxygen upon departing the body. And that is basically, it's just a chemical response in your brain to make you feel a type of way, like you feel good, but it's, it's actually not doing anything good for your body. This is another reason why I say most vegans fail. It's because they're doing it wrong. Now, one thing that I learned on this journey is that your thoughts create the perception you live in, but you need to develop a perspective in this process. So if you don't believe in something, no action will ever come to that. So it's the same thing as this study that they did with animals where they pumped them with cholesterol and they left them alone and most of them died from cancer and disease, but on another group of animals, they pump them with the same amount of cholesterol and they would just pet them and love on them and none of them got any forms of diseases. So this was two years ago where for the entire year, I ate nothing but uh, basically mainly fruits. Like it was rare that I ate anything other than raw fruits with honey. And my scheduled days of eating were Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And as I progressed in this, I actually started skipping like four or five days, like nothing. And my body became interdependent. And I realized you do not need protein. I was intaking maybe less than 500 grams of protein in a month. So of course, at some point in time, I, I of course fell off. I mean, you could tell I was like shredded at one point and then I just kind of lost it. You know, I guess relationships can kind of do that. But it's not that, you know, when you're in love, you're happy. But the cool thing about this is I get to do it all over again and I get to document it and essentially share the results with you guys all over again. And I firmly know in what I'm doing and I know there's all this thing whether you should be eating meat and I, I'm, I'm at a point where it's just, it's all about your state of mind is how your body will work. And another thing I'll be diving into is now, these are like government documents, but they explain that the immune system is actually only 30% of it is the lymphatic system inside your body. And the other 70 plus percent is actually in your biofield. And you can basically have that hacked. And that's why quantum healing is a very, very strong thing because it's important to take care of your inner body and be connected with God. And whether you're religious or not, you're doing some form of inner work to strengthen the biofield and basically creating system matrices, whether it's through religion, your own doing, which is what I do. I, I create my own system matrices and laws that govern my life to make sure that I'm virtuous and I'm in an angelic fre frequency to strengthen and fortify my biofield. And so I'm going to go more into that and explain more in depth with all of that in of course, my exclusive content. And a lot of this information can, of course, be found in my web courses. But um, I'm excited to share the results. And this is going to be a gnarly before and after picture because I kid you not, I think I gained at least, shoot, let me think. Like my body was so used to running off of like barely nothing. So when I started consuming like 
more food on a consistent basis, it was easier for me to gain weight, but it wasn't like bad weight. Like I still put on muscle and stuff and I wasn't working out as much, but still, you know, like all the vacations, all of it, it adds up. But I think I put on at least 40 pounds. So this is going to be a gnarly transformation. So stay tuned.